Hello, everybody. Surprise recording, I know. So, uh, some things we're going to note, just briefly, is final boss. I, I want to be very clear that I am going to be talking about, you know, story content spoilers here. Here's your warning. Now's your time to um, hop off in three, two, one. First of all, we have the final boss from Elden Ring, uh, Radon, Prime Radon. Um, and I haven't had a chance to hop in game and experience the changes to the fight. I remember I am again in game plus seven. I'm on journey 44 at this point, so just put that in mind. Um, and some changes. The attack pattern is changed when the battle starts. So one of the biggest issues with Radon was as he would dash forward, you have to immediately hit that jump, like hit that dodge. Otherwise, you immediately die. Especially in the plus seven, and that is if you are not um, running the heaviest armor. There have been some adjusted adjustments to some attack moves. Decrease the damage of some attacks. That's kind. Of, that is huge, and that and I that and I will be able to put some difference with that. Decrease the stamina damage of some attacks, so this is going to make a block centric build a little more viable without having to stack it. Decrease the attack range of some non weapon based attacks. Good. Um, I hope for, and uh, improve the visibility of some attack effects. There's way too much going on in the final boss fight. I can say confidently that I beat Radon um, myself, you know, pre Shadow Tree Fragment fix, pre this patch. I can say that confidently, no problem. That's fine. Like, I've got the, you know, I've got the, uh, you know, gold, the headband to prove it. Um, there have been now. There's some pretty big PVP changes here. The backhanded blades damage, specifically against other players, has been reduced. As ha is the dam the damage of dual wielding spears, as was the pata weapon, which has been like all the rage with lightning enchantments. The spread crossbow also doesn't stun on people, which is good. Uh, scatter shot throw, discus hurl, weed cutter, three ashes of wars that have been very very um, prevalent in PVP. Um, so these are getting, uh, these are all getting decreased as far as damage and uh, animation, you know, delay as well. From general balances and adjustments, the attack speed has of the uncharged first heavy attack for the four daggers, throwing blades, straight swords, great swords, colossal swords, heavy thrusting swords, curved swords, twin blade swords, katanas, great katanas, axe flails, great spears, except serpent hunter, halberd, reaper, whips, except rumi. Hand to hand arts and beast claw. This is just generally good. Attacks are going to come out faster, and that kind of tracks with the DLC. After performing left handed attacks with weapons of the Great Katana category, canceling into subsequent attacks using the right hand weapon will now take longer. This is a good balance. This is good for balance. Uh, hand to hand arts have increased damage and shortened the recovery time between some normal attacks and follow up attacks. I think this is great. I love the hand to hand arts. I think it's so fucking camp. I think it's awesome to like RP as a you know a mug from Sekiro. I think it's really cool. Um, we have some general like uh, you know gap closing and uh, attack speed increases for Colossal Swords. Uh, the attack speed of normal attacks from a crouching position is um, been decreased from on the backhand blades. It's not really particularly like too bad of a thing. Um, small shield and medium shield weapon types have increased damage negation of some shields when blocking attacks, as well as the guard strength. And it now takes longer to be able to cancel into most actions after performing one-handed normal attacks with the swift spear. The Smith's Rift Dagger has its throwing range attacks extended, and increased the attribute scaling of Relinus Twin Blade for lower intelligence and faith attributes. It's a little goofy how, how strong that thing is sometimes. Renella's cameo talisman also uh, has a, some debuffs to it, reducing the delay, uh, or some buffs to it, reduce the delay before the damage of enchantment activates, and increasing the damage of it. Uh, that prop, depending on like how much of that buff does, that is you know potentially very huge. Weapon arts, light and darkness have both had their attack speed increased. Dynastic sickle play, a the ult, which is by the way the on on um. Uh, on the um, on's box, um, on's box, um, scythe, really like 
one of the like fun. It's the only sickle that's worth playing, in my opinion. And it has gotten reduced stamina consumption, increased poise damage of follow-up heavy attacks, increased movement distance of the first follow-up heavy attack, and adjusted the damage animation recovery time when the second follow-up heavy attack hits another player. So that's just to make it a little, um, you know, it's just like some PvP changes. Shield Strike canceling other actions to perform this weapon art will now take longer. Um, Moon and Fire Stance. Uh, this is the this is uh, Renella's Twin Blade. Renella's Twin Blade, my bad. Um, increase the Light Wave range, poise, and attack speed of this stance normal attack. Uh, increase the poise damage uh, from the stance's heavy attack and adjusted damage animation recovery time from when a stance, stance's heavy attack hits another player. Denova's Vortex increases the attack power, extended the attack range of the Great Hammer's Spin, increased poise value and poise generation speed, and adjusted the the damage animation recovery time with when a changed a charged attack hits another player. Um, Relinus Twin Mumes, uh, the incantate, uh, the not the sorcery, uh, has increased attack range for the first and second attacks, as well as the knockback reduced knockback distance of the second attack. Um, incantations, uh, 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 crucible, aspects of the Crucible Thorns got increased attack power, um, increased attack power for secondary effects, um, also stamina attack power against guarding enemies has been increased, uh, close range hitbox now follows the movement of the player, which is great. Bloom, which was trash, uh, has increased attack speed and increased the size of the hitbox, shortened recovery time between using this incantation and follow-up actions. Divine Bird Feathers has decreased the minimum delay between consecutive hits, which is great. You know, there's a fine line between, you know, usable and, um, well, what's, you know, between, like, between, like, you know, usable and, uh, impenetrable thorns. You know, and this, I'm hoping Divine Bird, I want to, I'm going to test a couple of these and see how that comes out. It also has increased range, which is very important. This was very much a shotgun blast, and... If you're looking for something to do, like a bunch of shotgun blasting, like right up close to personal, Divine Bird Feathers is not for. Uh, Fierce Blade of Anspach. I really like this incantation, and I want to be able to use it because it's like it's Blood Flame, and it's also very, very cool and fun and, and interesting. Anspach's a dope character. Um, the only problem with that is. Canceling this incantation into rolls will now take less time. Increased poise damage, increased um, enemy knockback distance. So no necessarily changes in for to the damage or the um, uh, status increase, but this actually is good because it makes a uh, furious blade of Ansbach usable. Well, how does it make it usable? Well, if you cancel this incantation into rolls, it, like that that means like you're going to be less hung up. That was a big issue with it. Um, the poise damage gives a, you know, makes it more feasible to use, and it, it also will knock enemies back on the, on the final hit, which is great. I love that. Uh, Midras Flame of Flenzy. This, believe it or not, is uh, actually is both a buff and a debuff. You got increased attack speed, increased frenzy status buildup against enemies, and decreased frenzy status buildup when using the skill. So the big reason why Midra's Frame of Frenzy was like big was because um, it was a really quick and efficient way of procking madness, and there are and madness bills, especially with the Great Old One's Talisman, is very very much like the best way to do it. Now I'm pretty sure Midra's Frame of Frenzy is still going to be one of the best ways to do it outside of you know doing Howl of Shabriri repeatedly. But I think that I think um, this is especially at higher levels where I play, where things are a little more homogenous. I think this is going to be. I think this. I think I think this is going to make it so. Me just from Funzi is more in line with being a attack based spell, uh, like a, like something you use in a, in a madness build rather than just solely a um. You know something to play sit to span outside of a golden door. Also, Bale's Flame Lightning has increased attack power. Um, that doesn't need that. Like, I, like if 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 it if it hits if it hits directly, it does not need that. But be my guest. 
Uh, so there's some general bug fixes. Uh, I'm not going to go through everything, um, but it's fine. Um, and some general performance fixes. So, yeah, I, I'm fairly happy with this. I haven't hopped into the game, so I'm not able to look at things. I haven't been had a chance to sort of fiddle with things directly myself. But um, 1.14's out. Let's fucking go. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to, you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hivmedia.gg/discord. Discord links there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hivmedia.gg/10. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boon to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.